Hi Cancerians, thank you so much for joining me on Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. This is your January 2016 month ahead reading. Now, uh, just to let you know what's coming up for you guys, I've let all of the other signs know you have three readings coming up. Scorpio is all ready, done and dusted. They've had their three readings. Um, I am uh, doing this uh, reading in... Um, in chunks so all of the signs have their monthly readings and then I'm going to be recording the yearly readings for all of the 11 signs that are left over and then finally it will be a live spread reading for 2016 the live spread reading will focus on five areas of your life um, so yeah it's a very very good reading excellent and I really like doing that all of this takes a lot of work so please bear with me while uh, your readings go up okay I'm working on it every single day so those readings will be up shortly so here we go. Let's um, let's concentrate on what's coming in. And also, if you want a reading with me, private reading, then please just head over to my website. It's www.carolsuniverse.co.uk. So, Universe Spirit, show me what's coming in for the Zodiac Sign of Cancer. Show me the Cancerians, January 2016, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. Cancer, sir, Cancer, and January 2016, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. Show me what's coming in for the Zodiac Sign of Cancer. Sun, Moon and Rani's Rising Signs for January 2016. Show me what's coming in for the Zodiac Sign of Cancer. Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for January 2016. Show me what's coming in for the Zodiac Sign of Cancer. Uh, sun, Moon and Rising Signs, January 2016. Show me what's coming in for Cancerian. Uh, sun, Moon and Rising Signs for January 2016. Show me what's coming in for Cancerians. January 2016. Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Show me what's coming in for Cancerians. January 2016, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. So me. Okay, so I've meditated on the cards, Cancer. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to split the deck into three, gather the cards back up, and I'm going to lay down the Advice card. Two cards from the top to represent your general energy, and four cards in the middle. That should represent the situation, stroke, events that are going to be happening. Okay? Let's have a look. Okay, the sun came up for your general advice. This card lets me know that everything's going to be a-okay for you guys in January, okay? No matter what happens on this reading, okay? I do see some division in January. I do. I've got to be honest. I can't lie on a reading. But the sun card is there to give you advice that you are being blessed, that you're being protected, that there are better times ahead, that this is a very positive situation for you in the long run. And never ever give up hope. That's what the Sun card is there to tell you, Cancerians, okay? Your general energy is showing as the King of Wands. Whoopsie daisy, let me drop the card. King of Wands and also the Eight of Cups. King of Wands is a fire sign, your water. I feel that this is you guys walking away on this. Fire sign would be Aries. Leo Sagittarius so I feel that potentially for some of you guys you could be walking away from a relationship with someone it looks like it might be a little bit scary for you but as you I, as I said we do have the sun card as the advice card so it's to remain positive and it's to know that there are better days ahead we do have uh, in your eight cards temperance which signify healing okay so temperance is renewal temperance is breathing space Temperance is trying to kind of get your emotions on a balance. It's trying to kind of get yourself in sync again. It's trying to kind of renew yourself after something quite turbulent has happened. So I, I feel I, I do find that you're going to kind of be on an even keel after. If this resonates with any of you guys, if you're walking away from a relationship in January, you might have thought about it for quite some time. Um, and I do see this because the Eight of Cups, you can't deny what this is. 
this can even mean uh, emotional detachment. I do see detachment, space being created between you and one other person. Okay, I feel that you're doing it because you need time to heal or you need time to think about something. We do also have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so uh, this Four of Pentacles uh, usually is a card of um, holding on to things or staying put or lack of movement or not, not wishing to kind of give yourself up to anything or it's uh, uh, it can be about money gain it can also be having to save money or having to kind of save your resources or look after your resources okay so I, I almost get the impression that potentially for some of you guys if you are walking away from a relationship in uh, January then it could be that uh, you are kind of taking care of your resources because you need time to kind of heal so you're, it's almost like you're being overly cautious. This Four of Pentacles to me can represent a card of uh, being cautious with what you have. So perhaps this is to do with uh, having to kind of take time out for yourself with that temperance card. So you're being cautious with the resources that you have in January. I'm seeing that for a lot of you Cancerians. We also have the Page of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So perhaps this person that you walk away from has some rather choice words for you. The Page of Swords can be a card of um, sometimes aggressive, sometimes kind of nasty um, communication. I've seen that card turn up for nasty communication, even delayed communication sometimes. Okay, That King of Wands can also represent a career or a job. I've seen that turn up for a job or a career. So maybe some of you guys are walking away from a career or from a job, potentially, if it's not a person. Mad with the Page of Swords as well, this can represent a, a card of delays or a delayed news coming through. Okay, But it's definitely a message somewhere along the line because we've also got the Seven of Wands. That can represent having to fight off stiff competition. Or having to stand your ground. So if it's a person that you're walking away from. And maybe you're putting your barriers up with that person. Because we do have that four of pentacles. Maybe you need to put your barriers up. Because you need time to heal with the temperance card. Okay. Um, so I do see you putting your barriers up potentially. If it's around a person. If it's around a job. Or, uh, or even around a person. There is time where you need to kind of restrain on spending potentially. Okay. Because times might not might not be as buoyant in terms of finances if you've been in a partnership and you decide to walk away from it. So it's having to reevaluate and look at your finances again potentially and get yourself on an even kill with that temperance card. As I said, the Page of Swords can be a delayed message or disappointing message or something like that. Uh, the Seven of Wands can be the card of competition, fighting off competition, having to stand your ground. Okay, having to be resilient. I see this card as the card of resilience. So it's almost like resilience in the face of adversity with that page of swords. So you're going to have to be quite strong, I feel, um, Cancerians, in the month of January. Okay, You're going to have to kind of build up all of your resolve to get through this situation. It's not a... Look, you know, I don't know... I don't know you know, I know my subscribers, but I don't know their world. I don't know their lives. So this can be something small to being something quite big. It just depends whether it uh, resonates with you Cancerians. But I do see perhaps you're having to stand your ground with that person that you're walking away from. Okay. Um, we also have the Five of Wands here showing up, which is a card of conflict, fighting, arguments. And we also have the Lovers. I do feel that there is some conflicts to do with the relationship because we have that Lovers card here. The Lovers card can mean a choice. Maybe there's conflict over a choice you made to do with a relationship. Okay, maybe you've had to kind of put your foot down with someone and said, you know what, we're not going to do this anymore. We're not going to kind of carry on with this anymore. All right, maybe you've absolutely said, I've had enough and this person won't accept it. Maybe this person is holding on to the idea that you're going to stay together and you've kind of decided, I don't want to do it. Okay, but there is uh, some kind of conflict within a relationship happening between this Five of Wands and the Lovers. Could even be to do with if you've got children, children who aren't pleased at this separation or something like that. Because the Lovers card is a card of two lovers together, but yet they're apart at the same time. They're both independent individuals. So this card can usually just go either way. It can be a very intense relationship, but two people who are quite independent on their own as well. Okay. Um, 
but it's also the card of making a choice about something. So maybe over a choice that you've made, there is conflict. It could be with children if you've got them, or it could simply be between you and this other person. And it is Wands energy, and we do have King of Wands, so maybe this King of Wands isn't happy about this with this Five of Wands. We do see the Two of Wands here as well. The Two of Wands is facing the lovers. So maybe this King of Wands is trying to offer a concession because we do see him facing the lovers. So it's almost like a choice has been made, but there's some kind of concession being offered with that Two of Wands. He has the world in his hands. Okay, so he has some authority. And the King of Wands is often a very authoritative character. I see him trying to kind of... I don't know whether it's dangle a carrot or whether it's uh, trying to entice you or tempt you into something. But I do see somebody offering something to this situation within the lovers, okay? But I feel that because we have the Two of Wands facing in the opposite direction of the Ace of Pentacles, uh, this is you guys maybe being deciding that you won't go for it and you want to kind of open the door to something else with that Ace, because that's a new financial beginning as well with that Ace of Pentacles. Okay, I feel that, uh, yeah, I, I, I do feel that uh, a lot of you guys may be kind of walking away from something. It could be a career, as I've said, it could simply be a love relationship. Um, and I, I feel that somebody won't be happy about it. I feel that somebody won't be happy about it in this reading. But whatever decision you're making in January, I do feel that some of you guys are turning a corner with something here, Cancerians. And I do feel that it's blessed and it's a very positive decision because we do have the sun as your overall energy stroke advice card, which says it's A-OK, -okay. it's a positive move. This walking away from this king of wands, whether that's an individual or a career, this is a positive move that you're making because there's something new coming in for you with the ace of pentacles. Somebody may offer you something to stay, whether that's in your job or whether that's in a relationship, but I feel that you won't want that. I feel that the Ace of Pentacles really says that you'll be looking for something new. You'll be looking to create something that is realistic and practical enough for yourself. Okay, so it's not a bad reading at all, Cancerians, okay? But I do see um, a lot of kind of holding up your, result, uh, res holding up your resolve. I, I do see kind of um, creating barriers, maybe while you need to heal or work something out. I do see somebody who is fighting their corner, whether that's in the job market or in terms of a relationship. I do see some kind of, uh, I don't know whether I want to call it aggressive, but difficult communication with that page of swords. And somebody is trying to kind of uh, protect themselves or uh, hold their own. Or there's a lot of defensiveness going on there with those two cards, page of swords and seven of wands. I also see some fighting uh, over a relationship with the lover's card. I feel there's a split here with this lover's card over a choice that's been made. I do see some kind of compromise being tried to... Uh, uh, somebody's trying to potentially make a compromise with that two of wands facing the lover's card. Or somebody could be offering you a way out, thinking about it. So if there is a choice that's being made within the lover's card, and we've got the two of wands, which is the exploration card, setting off on a new journey, then maybe somebody's offering you something new to take you out of this situation, which then leads to the Ace of Pentacles, a new financial endeavour, or a way to kind of um, help ease the issues, if there are any money issues in this. There aren't many Pentacle cards, but the Pentacle cards that we've got are pretty strong, the Ace of Pentacles most notably. The Ace of Pentacles can also be a, a grounded new beginning. So it's not always to do with money, it's to do with kind of maybe a new home, maybe a new contract. I feel that some of you guys are going to be getting a new contract in January. I do feel that. You may have walked away from something in the past and I feel that something new is coming in in January. But that's what I'm seeing for your reading, uh, Cancer. I'd like to say thank you so much for using Carol's Universe. And I will be back with your uh, yearly readings. Take care, my darlings. Bye-bye.